Hi Math 5-4. This is the video for lesson 118, which is located on page 545 and is scheduled for Monday, April 20th. Um, in this video, we're going to work with division. By We've done some division, like dividing by 10 and things like that. So um, this time though, we're going to divide, which 10 is a two digit, two digit number, excuse me. And so we're gonna divide by two digit numbers. The difference will be that it's not by 10. So sometimes you have to do a little bit of guesswork when dividing by two digit, digit numbers. I don't know why I'm having a hard time saying that word today. But sometimes you have to do a little bit of work. You might choose an answer that's wrong and you have to start over and that's okay. That's just part of the division process. So we're gonna run through what that looks like where you have to choose an answer, okay? So for division, for example, my first problem here, <clears throat> excuse me, 68 divided by 25, I look at it and I can't just jump into that really easily, okay? I have to cover up some digits and pretend that I am dividing cover up my digits here. And let's just look at, and in my head, think six divided by two to start with this, okay? That's what I have to do is cover those last digits and get as close as I can. So six divided by two, I'm gonna start down that path and I know that that'll be three. Now notice, I'm not writing that over my six, I'm gonna write it over my last, my digit I'm actually dividing into which is 68, okay? So I wrote it over the eight, not the six. It's very important. I'm gonna put these aside for now and take them off because I need to be able to see my digits now. So now my second step is to multiply. Three times five is five. 15, carry my one forward. Three times two is six, plus that one is 75. Now I have to stop and look and say, okay, so my next step is to subtract, but 68 minus 75 is not something I can subtract and get right. So I went too high. When this number comes out higher than your original number, it doesn't work. So we have to go back and we know it's not three. So I'm gonna rewrite my problem and go lower. 68 divided by 25 is my original problem. I know three was too high. So I'm gonna go with two to go one lower, okay? So two times five is 10, write down your zero, carry forward your one. Two times two is four, plus one is five. Now I have 68 and 50. 68, I can subtract 50 and that'll work out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Eight minus zero is eight, six minus five is one. Now step three of my division process is to bring down, but I don't have anything to bring down, okay? <clears throat> so my, my 18 is my remainder. So my answer for this problem is two remainder 18. So the step, the only step we've added, we've done plenty of division this uh, this whole year, actually. We've done plenty of division. The step we've added is, when you cover those digits and you look at a, to make it a problem that you can work with, you might aim a little too high and have to go back down to a two. For, like, for example, six divided by three, I thought, well, I mean, six divided by two, excuse me, six divided by two is three but I had to go back down because the answer I got was higher than my original division problem, okay? So that's the only step we've added to the division. Everything else you've seen before. So let's do another one. So I have 41 divided by, excuse me, 80, blah, okay, my words aren't working. Let me start over. 880, 880 divided by 41. So I'm gonna cover what I can work with here and make it a problem 
that is easier to work with. So in my head, I'm thinking eight divided by four. You don't have to cover them up. If that helps you, that's fine. If you can do it all in your head and you can think eight divided by four, then that's fine. Go ahead and just do it that way. But I'm gonna cover them up because I think it makes it easier to see for the video. And hopefully it'll help you understand it. So, okay, so eight divided by four. Well, I know that's two, so I'm gonna try two and see where I end up. So let's see, so I put a two there, and notice I put it over because I'm dividing 88 by 41. Two times one is two, two times four is eight. My next step is to subtract. Four, eight minus two is six, and then my third step is to bring down 60. So then I go back to the top and start over as division again. My new division problem is 41, 60 divided by 41. So now I have to look at and think, okay, how many times can 60 be divided by 41 without going over? If I can't figure that out easily, I can cover my digits and say six divided by four if I need to cover those digits. And I would say, okay, that's just one time. So I can put my one and uncover my digits. One times one is one, one times four is four. So now I can subtract. I know that zero minus one, I can't do that. So I have to go over here and borrow. My six becomes a five and I add 10 to my zero to make it 10. 10 minus one is nine and five minus four is one. So my answer, oh, and then I look and see, do I have anything else to bring down? And in this case, I don't. So my answer is 21, remainder, 19. Okay, and I have one more example. I can find my page, there it is. <clears throat> and uh, so, one more example here, 555 divided by 11. Okay, so I can look at it and cover it up to here and cover up my one digit there. It makes it really hard to see when I do that, so let me fold that over. So, when you since it's a one, that might make it clear. Okay, so now I have five divided by one. So I know that five divided by one will be five times. So I can uncover my digit. I write my five over the digit I'm dividing into. Okay, so five times one is five, and five times one is five. So now I subtract a step three Five minus zero, I mean five minus five, sorry, I gave you the answer, is zero. And five minus five is zero. So my next step is to bring down. When I bring that down, I have a five. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have start over now, back to step one, which is division. My new division problem is five divided by 11, which we know to be zero times. 0 times 11 is 0. So we subtract to step 3. And our answer after we subtract is 5. I look. I have no more digits to bring down. So 5 is my remainder. Okay. So again, the only thing we have added in this lesson, the only new thing, you guys know everything else we've done in this lesson, except that we've added in where you may start your division problem like we did on this first example, and it may be a little too high when you start that division problem, and you may have to start over and do it again and try with a lower number. That's all we've added, okay? Everything else you guys have done before. So your practice problems, for this pay, uh, lesson, excuse me, are on page 547. And 
as a bonus for paying attention to the video, I'll tell you that if you work to this one with me, there's your practice problem C. If you worked this one with me, there's your practice problem E. And I have one more. If you worked this problem with me, there's your practice problem F. So that means you only have three practice problems you'd have to do on your own. So again, the practice problems are located on page 547. Bye guys.